Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be looking at the latest updates. We start with this La Masia defender, Mika Mamol, as it has been reported that the defender is closer to a loan exit from Barcelona after admission from the United States door. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, Talking about Pini Zahavi, the agent of our new signing Robert Lewandowski, it has been reported that Barcelona are set to pay 20 million euros commission to Pini Zahavi for the transfer of Robert Lewandowski. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a video, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. There have been growing reports that Mika Mamol will be leaving FC Barcelona on loan for the 2022-23 season. This has been further propagated by the fact that the 21-year-old has not been included in the squad of the first team for their pre-season tour to the United States. As per journalist Josep Capdevila, the this places Mamol even closer to being loaned off soon with Girona and Las Palmas hot on his trails. The Spanish defender is likely to be loaned out as Barcelona believe his talents exceed the level that Barca Athletic currently play at. Despite there having been a few reports that Xavi might try out Mika Mamol in the first team this coming season, this has never been further from reality, especially after the signing of Andreas Christensen from Chelsea and Barca's attempts at to sign Jules Kunde from Sevilla. Despite being given a start in Barca's first pre-season game against UE Allot, the La Massa graduate was not selected by Xavi for the trip to the United States. The defender gave away a penalty in the latter stages of the first half as the game ended in a draw. Barcelona have been undergoing massive reconstruction at the heart of the defence, with Clement Lenglet already loaned out to Tottenham and the club looking to move on out of ever duo of Samuel Umtiti and Oscar Mingesa. The Blaugrana have already added Andres Christensen and they are eager to sign another top defender with Kunde high on the list. So Mika Mamal could also be set for an exit at birth on loan. Mamal has two major suitors in the form of Girona and Las Palmas who have been in pursuit for the left-footed centre-back for a few weeks now. However, his final destination still is still up in the air and he could end up at either club or at a team altogether different. Some few weeks back there was talk of Xavi contemplating of including Mika Mamal possibly next season for his squad you know to play some game time but that looks uncertain that looks unlikely as the player was even left out for the trip to the United States for our pre-season and of course Barcelona don't want him to even stay at the Barca B and prefers him to leave either on loan or permanent transfer. Of course he's a good defender but despite the fact that the competition is really high we know we're bringing Christensen, uh, Kunde is likely to be a Barca player as well so just look at the defender we already have, we have PK, we have Araujo, Christensen, I mean it's not, it's not gonna be easy competition and if Mamal stays, then definitely he will not play. And the best thing if he wants to develop his career is to loan him. To loan him. I think the best option is to loan, not even selling him permanently because we know loaning, you still have rights to the player and if he performs well, he might stand a chance in the future to future for the first team. So, Javi left not only him, of course we heard about Ricky Push left out, Umtiti left out on, from the tour to the United States to sort out their futures and I think that was the best thing to do because had it been they followed the, the whole team to the United States, you will be like you are giving them hopes that they still have a chance to future next season whereas they are not. Then on to the next story of discussion, after months of negotiations, uncertainty, confusion, Barca have finally announced the signing of Robert Lewandowski. The Polish international has parted ways with Bayern, signing a four-year contract at the Camp Nou. He is expected to undergo his medical tomorrow in Miami before joining the rest of the Barca camp in Florida. With the negotiations now done and dusted, 
Alfredo Martinez has offered a key insight into the Lewandowski saga. The Spanish journalists believe Barcelona's deal to sign Lewandowski could have been wrapped up far earlier had it not been for the demands of the player's agent Pini Zahavi. It appears Zahavi was holding out for a hefty commission, having played a vital role in establishing the crack between Lewandowski and Bayern that eventually compelled the player to put an end to his spell in Bayern. Martinez believes Zahavi has asked for a commission for up to 20 million euros. It is quite a fortune given that Barcelona have had to pay a fee of around 45 million euros upfront for Lewandowski, with an additional 5 million euros to be paid through at odds. However, Zahavi's commission is likely to be paid through yearly installments worth around 5 million euros, thus, totally up to 20 million euros by 2026. Such commission fees for agents have become commonplace in today's footballing market as more and more players start to leave just a year before their contract or even after the end of their contracts. Bayern have been a victim of this trend in recent years, with the likes of David Alaba, Niklas Sule, and Thiago Alcantara leaving the Allianz Arena over the past couple of seasons. Robert Lewandowski now joins the list and the poll will be hoping he could become the most successful of them all as he kickstarts a new chapter in his glittering career with Barcelona. Wow, 20 million euros as commission fees. That's, that's quite much. I was not expecting that figure. Pini Zahavi have really played a big role, let's be honest, to, to make this move happen for Barcelona, for Robert Lewandowski. And um, that means Barca have really spent a lot when it comes to this deal overall because the deal initially is 45 million euros paid upfront to Bayern and, and 5 million euros extra, which will be for add-ons. But we don't still know the details on that add-on. So, Pini Zahavi have played a key role. You know, he have been forcing the move, supporting Lewandowski all the way to leave Bayern, negotiating with Laporta. We have even heard from um, Fabrizio Romano how the, the, the president Laporta and Pini Zahavi their good relationship that they have have really enabled that move to go through so what i've been finalized is that Barca will pay him 20 million euros 20 million euros in commission fees and that 20 million euros will be paid instrumentally that is 5 million euros per year of course Lewandowski could possibly make four years because it's the initial agreement is three years plus one year optional optional one year which possibly 2026 and Barca if that is the case Barca will be paying Pini Zahavi 5 million euros each season so that is how the the the, 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 the agreement is for both parties so um the player will do his medical as they are saying tomorrow in America in Miami then from there on he will go now to Florida to join the rest of the squad for pre-season preparations. So we still don't know if by that time Xavi will also be there because yesterday we got reports of Xavi not able to leave Spain to America because of passport issues, because of his um, status going to Iran, traveling to Iran three times last in the space of one year. And according to the American law, um, he, must, the, the most, he must be granted permission by the American government before en entering the boundaries of the United States. So that is where the problem lies. So let's see how it goes in the coming days. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.